Hello dear students, how are you? I hope you all are safe. Uh, now here in today's lecture, we are going to discuss stability of complex compounds. What better? Stability of complex compounds. Okay. Now before starting with the stability of complex compounds, uh, we will uh, move towards, uh, we will uh, solve uh, one question. Okay. So see here, uh, write down uh, here one question, see, for for an octahedral complexes, for an octahedral complexes, which of the following d electron which of the following d electron configuration d electron configuration will give will give maximum del 0 maximum what be da maximum del 0 kiwa apan man ka manto del o o is what for octahedral complexes okay so you can write here options also in a option high spin d6 okay high spin D6, write down B, low spin D4, low spin D4, C, low spin D5, low spin D5, and whatever your D option, high spin D7, what be done? High spin D7. Now here among these all configuration about low spin and high spin, which one gives what beta? Which one gives high value or we can say maximum value for del O and it is for what? Octahedral complexes. Now we will here check what? We will check here one by one and among these we will discuss which was our correct option. Okay, so see here. Suppose we will discuss here our uh, first option that is A option high spin D6. So what will happen say? D6 as you know we can write like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, D6. Now, as you know, octahedral complex is here. Yes, Veda. Energy of AG orbital is greater. So, you can mention here. Okay. Okay. You can make as a box or either circle also. Okay, for this. Now see here, now this D6, this what, D6 electrons we have to fill up, okay. So high spin, high spin here means what will happen beta, it can move to upside means it can move towards the Eg orbital electrons, whatever electron from the D6 it can move where? Eg orbital, these are what Ag and these are what beta T2G. Okay. So here D6 about D6 configuration, D6 electronic configuration, what will happen? High spin. Okay. So high spin, these are what? Yes, high spin complexes are what? Weak fielding ends. So see here what will happen? Yes. 1, 2, 3, first single if failed, then pairing taking place, but here opposite to Hansel because our high speed, 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड नाउ सिक्स अंडरस्टूड नाउ यू कैन मेन्शन हियर यूर टी टू जी एन एजी कॉन्फिग्रेशन ओके बट हियर वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट वॉट डेल जीरो सो सी हियर एज यू नो बेटा वॉट विल बी द फॉर्म्यूला फॉर डेल जीरो ओके सो सी आई एम राइटिंग हियर डेल जीरो इज इक्वल टू से एज यू नो दिस बेटा माइनस पॉइंट फोर ठीक है माइनस वी ऑलरेडी डन दिस माइनस पॉइंट फोर इंटू एन इंटू टी टू जी मीन्स नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन टी टू जी और बाइटल प्लस पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू और वे कैन से हियर एन ए जी ओके नाउ दिस फॉर्म्यूला बेटा वी हैव टू यूज ठीक है आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस ठीक है टी टू जी एंड अबाउट टी टू जी एंड ए जी और बाइडल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ठीक है सो सी हियर हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई हियर माइनस पॉइंट फोर सो आई विल राइट हियर फॉर्म्यूला ठीक है सो पे टेंशन सपोज आई विल राइट हियर फॉर दिस सो डेल जीरो इज इक्वल टू माइनस पॉइंट फोर इंटू नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन टी टू जी हाउ मच फोर प्लस पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दैट इज एन एन ए जी और बाइटल एस टू now you have to calculate then you will get answer something minus 0.4 only okay after solving this it was your about this age now suppose if you are calculating for yes these are all about what about a option now we will discuss for b option low speed day 4 so as you know day 4 you can write like this 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 okay so see here yeah, it is a octahedral complex so upper side what same as like you can draw as a circle or as a such type of square also no issues okay but only we have to follow a वन मीन्स आयदर यू हैव टू स्क्वेर वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू और आयदर सर्कल वी हैव टू कंटिन्यू ठीक है सो वी कैन मेट यर सर्कल ऑल्सो नो इश्यूज ठीक है इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस स्क्वेर ओके यू हैव टू फॉलो वन ओनली रूल ठीक है सो सी यर वी हैव टू फॉलो ऑलवेज वन रूल आयदर यू कैन मेक सर्कल और आयदर यू कैन मेक वॉट स्क्वेर ठीक है से ए जी एज लाइक दिस ठीक है एज लाइक दिस सो टोटल सिक्स आर देर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स इट इज अवर कैलकुलेशन ठीक है नाउ हियर वॉट बेटा येस वन टू थ्री so see here low spin so low spin means what yes yeah, strong field again so keep in mind low spin was strong field high spin means what weak field again so here low spin d4 so here what will happen strong field again so it has a tendency to pair up so add like this 1 2 3 and 4 okay now Say here, you can apply your formula del zero del o minus point four into number of void v g. It is your t two g into how much four? Okay, other all are what? No meaning because there is no electrons are there. So you can write as like this. Okay. so here about we wrote regarding these two options i hope you are completing this you uh, wrote in your 
नोटबुक ठीक है नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट सी ठीक है माइनस पॉइंट फोर एंड माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स वी गॉट वैल्यू फॉर ऑप्शन ए एंड ऑप्शन बी माइनस पॉइंट सिक्स सॉरी माइनस पॉइंट माइनस पॉइंट फोर एंड हियर वॉट माइनस वन पॉइंट सिक्स वी गॉट वैल्यू नाउ वी विल चेक फॉर वॉट और योर ऑप्शन नंबर सी एज लाइक दिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो सी यर डे फाइव और देर वन टू इन दैट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फाइव फोर फाइव ये इट इज ऑक्टा हाइड्रोल कॉम्प्लेक्स सो अपर साइड योर ए जी डाउन साइड योर टी टू जी हियर वॉट वन टू वन टू थ्री ठीक है नाउ दिस फाइव इलेक्ट्रॉन्स यू आर टू फील but it is low spin so low spin means what strong spin so it has a tendency pad up down side only 1 2 3 4 and 5 theek hai i hope you understood this so what will be your calculation yes minus 0.4 into 5 because there is no electrons so what you will get say yes, you will get what minus 2.0 day option suppose if you are checking here day option as a day 7 in high speed so here 1 2 3 4 5 as like this okay understood so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now upper side your ag down side beta t2g as like this okay now here what will happen we have to fill in this whatever seven are there so it is high spin means weak field so it has they will go the upside after filling this 1 2 3 now fourth electron is upside because it is high spin with weak field again 3 4 5 5 now here paired up 6 and what 6 and beta here 7 i hope you understood this now upper side your 5 and sorry lower side your 5 and upper side 2 so del o is equal to what minus 0.4 into 5 plus 0.6 into what 2 then you will get here answer something 0.8 after solving this now we can observe your minus 0.4 for a option for b option minus 1.6 for c option minus 2.0 and for d option minus 0.8 so here which one option will correct for your shadow complex which of the following day electron configuration will give maximum del 0 so we have to check here magnitude so your option is what c is correct okay i hope you understood this means electrons will paired up down side or electrons will goes up side it depends on whether your ligand is strong or weak when it is strong your down side will paired up here only whatever fourth electron will paired up otherwise that fourth electron goes up side it depends on field strain ligand field strain whether it is weak field whether it is strong field so also keep in mind weak field is high spin complex high speed Uh, high spin means whatever fourth electron will goes up side okay and low spin work low spin down side only will paired up okay i hope understood clearly you have to write all this okay now we will discuss your our next point that is stability of yes uh, you can mention beta stability of complex compounds theek okay. hai see stability of 
कॉम्प्लेक्स स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नाउ वॉट एवर वी आर डिस्कसिंग स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स कंपाउंड इन टू टाइप्स ओके फर्स्ट वन थर्मोडाइनेमिक स्टेबिलिटी एंड सेकेंड वन इज वॉट कानेडिक स्टेबिलिटी ठीक है इन थर्मोडाइनेमिक स्टेबिलिटी देर इज अ मेटल लिग एंड बॉन्ड थेरी ओके नाउ वॉट एवर we are concentrating on this theory what is stability it is what with a kinetic stability so you can write here about kinetic stability okay stability now see here we are mainly discuss rate of formation of complexes first one rate of Yes, the rate of formation of complexes. Okay. Now, as you know, for kinetic stability, uh, we are introducing one term. Okay, and that one term is we call it as a stability constant. Okay, what we do? Stability constant. Stability. constant okay k s down side your s at the base your s small s ka that is stability constant okay now here uh, we have to mention here important sentence regarding this stability constant so you can write higher is the value of k s more will be the stability of complex what beta here higher is the higher is the value of k is higher is the value of k is okay higher is the value of k is more will be the more will be the stability of what beta complex okay higher the value of k is more will be the stability of complex okay now here in general we, we will represent as a your metal as a capital m okay and uh, ligand as a capital l uh, now we will uh, write here some general reactions on the basis of your the whatever your metal plus ligand so see here what will happen first when your metal plus ligand so you see the number okay now here you will get it is what reversible reaction and you will get like this whether it is a tetrahedral tetrahedral n n is what number of that ligand okay now see here next m plus l yes m plus l we will get what simply metal ligand okay when this ml further reacts with your ligand so what you will get beta yes m l2 m l2 now again when your ml2 say as like this ml2 when reacts with l so you will get what ml3 like that we can mention with n minus 1 m say i am writing here okay m l n minus 1 plus l okay then you will get what get your mln like that this metal plus ligand theory here okay now on adding this all okay when you add this all you will get here one constant on adding this all you will get one constant so we can write mnl that gives what m ln okay m ln so here 
you will get some stability constant that is ks so here we can write ks ks is equal to what say k1 into k2 into k3 up to what you can write as a up to a okay up to what beta k a so on the basis of this if we can derive the formula for ks uh, concentrate on this here we can derive one formula as like this that is ks is equal to m l n concentration of this m l n divided by what concentration of n into what concentration of n l okay so these are what regarding your stability constants now see here overall stability constant we can denote it as a beta what beta see here as you know like this beta u okay so here these are what regarding your stability constant but what will happen in the case of instability okay so say that we will discuss here and we will derive one formula also for that instability constant okay instability constant see here patension um, what will happen regarding your instability see here instability constant okay instability constant is equal to we can write 1 upon k what beta 1 upon k so we can rewrite the equation reverse mln reversible with what m plus n l n is what your number of ligands okay now we will discuss your one question on the basis of over this okay on the basis of stability of complex compounds okay uh, i hope uh, you wrote this all and uh, you are continuously revising this all okay see ya we will discuss bit our one question see suppose in question they gave say from the stability constants given from the given stability constants from the given stability constants predict predict which is the strongest ligand predict which is the what beta strongest ligand okay so see here small a we can write as a cu2 plus plus 4 nh3 reversible with cu what beta reversible with cu nh3 4 2 plus now they gave value for k 4.5 into 10 is to 11 take a small b cu2 plus plus 4 kcl reversible with take a cu cn4 2 minus k they gave for this 2.0 into 10 raised to 27. See the give here. Cu2 plus plus 2e. That gives what? Cu e n twice. 2 plus k they give 3 into 10 raised to 15. And d they give. CO2 plus plus four H2O. Take it. Four H2O. CO H2O four. Yes. 
is 2 plus k is equal to 9.5 into 10 is to 8 so this they gave here what they gave here as a question now on the basis what we have to predict which one is strongest ligand okay which one is strongest ligand now here uh, first you write this all properly okay so here you must know stability value is greater when stability value is greater then your that complex is stable so you have to mention this you have to concentrate on this what i told when stability value is greater that complex is your more stable or we can say in other words as you know stronger is the ligand and is uh, we already discussed this thing stronger is the ligand yes stable is that complex stronger is the ligand stable is that complex okay we already uh, done this now uh, we can also predict here say which one is uh, greater value so say here i think your b option okay there after there after what there after your say suppose if your uh, order suppose if you are if you are doing this answer in the form of order of ligand which is one is higher and which one is lower okay so say we can write here as like this yes first what will come your b because see cyanide is more stronger ligand than this all among this all okay after this word yes c your en okay after this word ammonia a and last is what your d so we can predict like this order also say okay now here uh, we will discuss after this uh, the stability of complex compounds bonding in organometallic compounds okay i hope you wrote this correctly neatly and i hope you understood this our question first question and this question also okay now pay attention on our next point that is see bonding in organometallic compounds okay see you can mention you can write beta bonding bonding in organo metallic what beta compounds so what will be this organo metallic organo plus metallic organo plus metallic see here organo means organic carbon okay and is what your metal understood organo means carbon and metal metallic okay now you can write here a uh, definition of this the compounds in which uh, you have to write the compounds in which carbon atom forms a direct bond with a metal see here the compounds in which carbon atom direct carbon atom forms carbon atom forms direct bond with bond with what beta metal okay are called as your organometallic compounds so see here we are classifying in three different ways whatever your uh, this organometallic compounds okay so we will see what will be the classification of this organometallic compounds 
ठीक है सही यार फर्स्ट ईयर ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक कंपाउंड्स ठीक है ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक कंपाउंड्स नाउ नाउ सी ईयर ठीक है सही फर्स्ट इज आयोनिक ऑर्गेनिक मेटालिक आयोनिक ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक एंड हियर फर्स्ट इज योर ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक आयोनिक ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक एंड हियर कोवेलेंट ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक नाउ वी विल डिस्कस हियर व्हाट विल हैपन इन आयोनिक एंड ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक कंपाउंड्स ठीक है now here when your carbon atom say what will happen in ionic when your carbon atom theek okay, hai carbon carbon atom is bonded with more electropositive metal when your carbon atom is bonded with more Yes, more electropositive metal. ठीक है मोर इलेक्ट्रोपॉजिटिव मेटल देन दीज आर बिलोंग्स टू दिस आयोनिक ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक ठीक है आयोनिक ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक सो सी यर वी हैव एन नंबर ऑफ एग्जाम्पल सी यर ठीक है दैट वी स्टडीड आई थिंक ग्रिग्नाड रिएजेंट ठीक है ग्रिग्नाड्स रिएजेंट से यर वॉट इट इज ग्रिग्नाड्स रिएजेंट वेन एवर वी आर राइटिंग एग्जाम्पल हियर ग्रिग्नाड्स और वी कैन से ग्रिग्नाड रिएजेंट ठीक है एज लाइक दिस ग्रिग्नाड रिएजेंट नाउ आर एम जी एक्स is what your grignard reagent r is nothing but your methyl ethyl your benzene part mg is metal x is your what halogens fluoro chloro specially what chloro bromo iodo okay so say or we can write ch3 mg br suppose if you write now if you break this then here delta minus charge and on this your metal there is a positive charge now among this suppose if you are discussing carbon and this metal carbon carry negative charge and your magnesium carries positive charge because here magnesium is more electro positive here theek okay, hai metal okay we can discuss beta here another example as a r2 li ओके आर टू एल आई वी कैन राइड इन दिस सी लाइक दिस सी एस थ्री एल आई सी एस थ्री डेल्टा प्लस इयर डेल्टा दिस माइनस एंड दिस डेल्टा माइनस एज लाइक दिस सी एस थ्री ट्वाइस एल आई आर टू एल आई ठीक है नाउ हियर वेन एवर वी आर डिस्कसिंग वॉट ऑर्गेनो मेटालिक so again we can here make a parts okay first is here what sigma bonded sigma bonded here what beta we can write as a pi bonded pi bonded and here what both sigma and pi both both सिग्मा एंड पाए बॉन्डेड ठीक है बोथ सिग्मा एंड पाए बॉन्डेड वी विल डिस्कस हियर एज वी डिस्कस आयोनिक ऑर्गेनोमेटालिक कंपाउंड एग्जाम्पल ना वी विल डिस्कस कोवालेट ऑर्गेनोमेटालिक कंपाउंड ठीक है सो पे टेंशन हियर कोवालेट ऑर्गेनोमेटालिक से कोवैलेंट 
is say covalent organo covalent organo metallic compounds ठीक है covalent organic organo metallic compound bonding with now see here here we will discuss covalent bond between carbon and metal covalent bond between carbon and metal see the example here carbon and metal in that we are going to discuss sigma bonded so with sigma bonded say we will discuss here example first as a ch3 thrice al okay what we does ch3 thrice al but this exist as this exist as dimer of dimer of yes al2 ch3 6 Al to CH three six. So see, we can write. For uh, we can represent with the help of formula. So be ready. As like this, we can represent. See here, beta. CH three. Here what? Al. Here also here. CH three. See carbon metal bond. Take a CH three. CH3 here your AL and here what CH3 and CH3 like that here we discuss what whatever your carbon metal bonding okay now here we can also show suppose second that is second pi bonded organo metallics pi bonded what organo metallic pi bonded pi bonded organo metallic compounds which are those example here also what obviously here what pi bonds between carbon and metal and for bonding for bonding what pi electrons are involved what beta pi electrons are involved so we can write as a example small a uh, we can mention here ferrocene what beta ferrocene see as like this say whatever your this pi electrons are there okay say here your iron and same bonding your downside also as like this say okay if a and same bonding downside also okay means these whatever your iron is bonded through pi electrons okay now this what be the name of this yes name of this here what we will mention here say here what will be the name of this small a we can write as a ferrocene what be the name of this ferrocene okay now we can represent we can represent like this say here how we can represent uh, this ferrocene in this fashion as like this if we okay okay n raised to 5 in bracket c 5 h 5 twice okay they we like that we can represent where n raised to x where where say we can write here where n raised to x is what number of carbon atoms involved in pi bonding 
नंबर ऑफ कार्बन एटम्स नंबर ऑफ कार्बन एटम्स इन्वॉल्व इन्वॉल्व इन वेर इन्वॉल्व इन वेर बेटा पाए बॉन्डिंग इन पाए बॉन्डिंग नंबर ऑफ कार्बन एटम्स इन्वॉल्व इन पाए बॉन्डिंग इट इज वॉट इन रेस टू एक्स सो हियर वी कैन शो एज अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो सो कैन यू पे टेंशन पे टेंशन हियर विथ पाए बॉन्डिंग इन दैट पाए बॉन्डिंग सर इन्वॉल्व सो सी हियर जिस इज सॉल्ट स्मॉल बे जिस इज सॉल्ट so we can represent as like this how we can represent as a pt cl3 n square c2h4 take it so see how we can write the formula how we can represent we can represent as like this okay see here Okay, you are concentrating. Whatever C H H C H and H like that. These are what representing. It will join through what? It will join through. by bonding here number of carbon atom involved is 2 therefore here n is to 2 theek hai in pi bonding now here we will discuss here one more also say we will discuss here one more theek hai say what we have to discuss one more thing beta when your both sigma and pi bonds are involved when both sigma and pi bonds are involved theek okay. hai in third time both sigma and pi bonds are involved so examples we can mention here that is a metal carbonyl it is what beta metal carbon so say fecu5 as you know nicu4 these are complexes belongs to your when your both sigma and pi bonds are present theek okay. hai now we will discuss here on the basis of this metal carbon is we have to discuss bonding in metal carbon is what beta bonding in metal carbonyls so concentrate on this very much interesting and important theek okay. hai see bonding in yes see here bonding bonding in metal carbonyls ठीक है बॉन्डिंग इन मेटल कार्बोनिल स्पॉट फिल हैपन एज यू नो इन मेटल कार्बोनिल बोथ सिग्मा एंड पाए बाउंड्स आर इन्वॉल्व ठीक है बिटवीन द मेटल एंड कार्बन एटम नाउ दिस विल एक्सप्लेन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एमओटी दिस विल एक्सप्लेन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एमओटी ओके मॉलिक्यूलर ऑर्बिटल थ्योरी एंड इफ यू आर कंसीडरिंग एज अ एग्जांपल ऑफ दिस कार्बोनिल ओके सो एज यू नो हियर कार्बन इलेक्ट्रॉन सिक्स एंड हियर नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एट सो टोटल फोर्टीन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर इन्वॉल्व नाउ इन रिलेशन विद बॉन्ड ऑर्डर एंड ऑल सो यू मस्ट नो दिस थिंग यू नो रिगार्डिंग इफ यू सॉ इन यूर प्रीवियस क्लास नोटबुक वॉट एवर इन केमिकल बॉन्डिंग एंड मॉलिकल स्ट्रक्चर यू ऑलरेडी मे बी डन दिस कार्बोन मोनॉक्साइड बॉन्ड ऑर्डर ठीक है इन दैट वन एस टू मीन्स सिग्मा वन एस 
ठीक है सिग्मा स्टार वन एस सिग्मा टू एस सिग्मा स्टार टू एस लाइक दैट यू मे डन ओके एंड यू फील्ड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑल्सो बट हियर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ दिस ऑफ साइड ऑफ दैट ए मोटी डायग्राम ऑफ यूर कार्बोनिल ठीक है मीन्स हियर यू आर ऑब्जर्विंग सपोज वी विल रिवाइज दैट हियर से एज लाइक दिस to here orbitals here one ticket okay. here what beta one okay, we will uh, draw here uh, down side say as you know two orbitals like that here one okay here what beta here also your two in our remote for the co as like this so here this what pi 2 px pi 2 px pi 2 py pi 2 px pi 2 py here what sigma 2 pz here what beta is yes. pi star 2 px and here what pi star 2 py here what beta is yes. sigma star to p z if you are observing okay if you are observing whatever this diagram okay there are electrons okay electrons are involved means like that vacant orbitals also there and fulfilled orbital also there like that representation we saw in this metal carbonyls okay now here we have to write regarding what we have to write regarding your sigma bond and pi bond how here in metal carbonyls sigma and pi bondings are involved so see first we will write regarding suppose about sigma bond so write beta sigma bond is formed between the vacant hybridized orbitals sigma bond is form between between the vacant between the vacant hybridized orbital hybridized orbital of metal of metal and Field bonding molecular orbitals of and field and field bonding molecular orbitals of what beta carbonyl. Okay. Means suppose here this M metal. Okay. Vacant hybrid or vacant orbitals are there, so we can represent like this. ठीक है वैकेंट ऑर्बिटल ऑफ योर मेटल ठीक है सो वेन इट विल कंबाइंस विथ कार्बोनिल सो सी एज यू नो वट एवर दिस कार्बोनिल इट हैज वन इलेक्ट्रॉन पैक सो इट विल ओवरलैप लाइक दिस इट विल वॉट बेटा overlap and forming a what forming sigma bonds then you will get you will get like this so see here how we will get uh, it is your carbon okay this what beta your m that is metal okay and as like this your formation of what formation of sigma bond i hope you understood this thing regarding your sigma bond how it overlaps and forming here vacant orbital and what it is a bonding between vacant hybrid orbital and field bonding molecular orbitals of carbon and they can overlap and forming what sigma bond like this okay now we will discuss about pi bond so see here beta how we will discuss or regarding your pi bond very much important is on the base of what on the base of your 
MOT. See here, pi bond. Suppose if you are discussing here pi bond, okay. So how we can uh, represent this? Say pi bond will be formed between pi bond. Pi bond will be formed. Pi bond will be formed between the fulfilled d orbitals of metal. The fulfilled, fulfilled d orbitals of metal and and with vacant orbital and with vacant with vacant anti bonding molecular orbitals of co with vacant anti bonding anti bonding molecular orbitals of what beta carbonyl that is co okay like that uh, we represent whatever star जे का स्टार होलो होते ते का होते एंटी बॉन्डिंग विदाउट स्टार मी सिंपली पाई टू पिक्स पाई टू बी वाइज इज आर व्हाट बॉन्डिंग मॉलिक्यूल ऑर्बिटल व्हाटएवर पाई स्टार टू पिक्स पाई स्टार टू बी वाइज इज आर व्हाट एंटी बॉन्डिंग मॉलिक्यूल ऑर्बिटल और वी कैन से ए बी एम ओज बी एम ओज दीज आर व्हाट विदाउट स्टार एंड विद स्टार दीज आर व्हाट एंटी बॉन्डिंग ए बी एम ओज ओके सो सी हियर How we can represent diagrammatically? Okay, so uh, pay attention on this. Say you are this metal as like this. So uh, we will represent here. See as like this. D orbitals. Okay. Plus minus. Okay. Plus here what about carbonyl? Carbonyl it contain what? Yes, vacant. Sorry, yes, vacant A B M O S like this. Vacant A B M O S. Okay. So what will happen? Say. What will happen? Filled D orbitals. Okay, fulfilled here D orbitals. And they are showing what? They are showing bonding, or we can say as here back bonding will occur. Okay, back bonding will occur. Okay, then with the help of by or whatever back bonding, you will get formation of pi bonds here. Okay, so see here uh, how you will get as like this metal. Okay. metal how we can represent that bonding as like this see okay see how it looks you with with respect to your carbonyl so here what pi overlap we can call it as a what pi overlap okay and these your bonds is what metal carbon bond metal carbon bond and whatever we saw that from carbon to metal bond first which in sigma bonding and here we call it as a one special type of bonding here and that special type of bonding we call it as a here this whatever this bonding we call it as a synergic synergic bonding what beta synergic bonding okay i hope you understood and what you are doing this synergic bonding they are enhancing the characters of both sigma and pi bonds here whatever your synergic bonding now here we are going to discuss from over this topic last point of this topic of our coordination compound that is importance of coordination compounds okay so uh, we will we will write here importance of what yes 
इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस बॉन्डिंग इन मेटल कार्बोन इज हाउ सिग्मा बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म हाउ पाई बॉन्ड इज फॉर्म ओके सो सी यर इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड से इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड नो सी यर फर्स्ट वे वे डिस्कस इन इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड दैट इज एस्टिमेशन ऑफ हाई वाटर और बेटा एस्टिमेशन ऑफ यस एस्टिमेशन ऑफ हाई वाटर वट एवर एज यू नो हार्ड वाटर हाउ इट फॉर्म बिकॉज ऑफ प्रेजेंस ऑफ सी टू प्लस एंड एम जे टू प्लस आय ठीक है सेकेंड इन क्वालिटेटिव एंड क्वांटिटेटिव एनालिसिस इन क्वालिटेटिव एंड क्वांटिटेटिव एनालिसिस ऑफ इन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स इन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स इन शॉर्ट वे कॉल इट एज अ वॉट इन द डिटेक्शन ऑफ सॉल्ट एनालिसिस ओके हाउ वी कैन वी आर यूजिंग दैट सम रिएजेंट्स एज अ रिएजेंट्स वी आर यूजिंग इन सॉल्ट एनालिसिस दैट इज डी एम जी डाय मिथिल ग्लायोक्साइम वी आर यूजिंग ई डी टी ए ठीक है देन के फोर ए फी सी एन सिक्स वी आर यूजिंग नाउ सी यर डीज आर वी आर यूजिंग इन सॉल्ट एनालिसिस इन ऑर्गेनिक क्वालिटेटिव एनालिसिस ओके इन थर्ड in electroplating okay whatever these coordination compounds we are using in electroplating how we are using see here see how we are using this as a k3 cu cn4 is used for copper plating okay is used for is used for कॉपर प्लेटिंग ठीक है फॉर कॉपर प्लेटिंग एंड अनदर दैट इज के ए यू सी एन ट्वाइस इज यूज फॉर गोल्ड प्लेटिंग इज यूज फॉर गोल्ड प्लेटिंग ठीक है now suppose uh, if you are discussing here that is fourth fourth in dyeing in dyeing also we are using coordination compounds to fix the color okay to fix uh, whatever dye we have to stick to that fiber okay in stable form uh, biological importance also in biological importance as you know biological importance in uh, your uh, chlorophyll there is a magnesium complex in vitamin b12 there is a cobalt complex and in hemoglobin there is the iron complex in citing complex and only i told is all okay six in metallurgical processes in metallurgical processes also we are using this okay in catalysis also you are using in catalysis whatever coordination compounds as a wilkinson's catalyst okay whatever formula it is given in ncert you can refer this in medicines okay in medicines as you know as a example of cis platin so you can write formula of cis platin as like this say PtCl2 NH3 twice. What beta PtCl2 NH3 twice? These are what cis platin and, and is used in cancer therapy. Okay. Now 
वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट इज ई डी टी ए ई डी टी ए इज यूज इन लेड पॉइजनिंग यार बेटा लेड पॉइजनिंग ठीक है सो लाइक दिस दीज आर ऑल इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉट एवर आवर इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ कोऑर्डिनेशन कंपाउंड्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस आई होप यू आर राइटिंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑनवर्ड्स ऑफ दिस टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम लेक्चर वन टू अप टू दिस लेक्चर यू रिमूव नोट्स ओके इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू रिमूव नोट्स एंड यू हैव टू शेयर योर डाउट्स टाइम टू टाइम ओके लाइक दैट शेयर like that we have to clear doubts on that same day okay now if any query related with this topic you can discuss you can share at any time okay without hesitation so i hope you understood this our what are coordination compounds and uh, you share your doubts okay so all the best for your exam okay Uh, whatever a uh, major test on coordination compounds so thank you very much